Hey guys, this is Rich from TitanClassics.com and this is a, a recent bike I bought, um, a DTR125 and it's uh, I think something like 1997. It's a French model so it's got a full power um, full power model with the servo. Uh, British models don't have the servo, but it's sort of pe pegged at um, 12 horsepower. This one should, in theory, give 25 horsepower. So I've done a fair bit of work on it already. Um, I've swapped out a lot of bolts for titanium bolts because the original ones were just rusted and stuck and just not very nice at all. Um, the front and rear calipers have been rebuilt with all titanium parts and I've just been taking stuff off it, measuring it in CAD, modelling it up in CAD and I'm getting a bunch of parts made for the DTR really. It's it's now a really quite a sought after bike, which is, is weird because it was dead dead common in the 90s, but they just seem to be a lot rarer now. Um, they're going for quite, well, really quite a lot of money now. This one I paid 2,600, which is a ridiculous amount of money to pay for a 125. But it's, it's a good bike. You get a lot of bike for your money because um, they're really tall. I'm six foot and um, I can only just get my feet on the floor. So um, I started it up and it runs really, really crap and um, just starting it was difficult. Um, I took the um, spark plug out and you could see it was really oily and, and just black and oily. Um, I, left, I, swapped the, I swapped that for a new uh, spark plug just because it was clean and uh, I did manage to fire it up but really speaking it needs a carb strip in, it needs all sorts of stuff just to get it running nicely. It probably needs, yeah, it definitely needs a change of jet. So um, even though this was going to be a fun little bike for me to do some research on, I've gone a bit, bit too far this time. You know, I bought a big bore kit, and um, I'm getting a DEP uh, full exhaust si system as well, which is. It's all right. Uh, whether or not it reduces it, uh, rest restrictions or not with the DEP pipe, I'm not sure. You know, because I've read sort of conflicting information on the um, on the internet, so I'll have to find out, won't I? So um, the big ball kit is taking it from a 125 to a 170 cc. So that's an Athena kit. I can't remember what it is. It's about 500 odd quid, um, and it's like a 50 cc increase. Hopefully, because um, I've I've got to do engine work on it anyway, just to get it running nicely. So we may as well, while I'm doing it, put the big ball kit on and hopefully it's going to be power wheeling, it, wheeling everywhere. But um, yeah, and I want to change things like studs for titanium studs and get the research the sizes and lengths of those and um, just making this a really nice bike and from it I'll learn uh, what products to make as well. Um, the rear, they're called lever cushions. So they're like dog bone shapes um, on the rear suspension. I've had those made in aluminium and I'm selling those now. And they're, they're about a third of the weight. So I think I won't shed much weight off this bike, but it might be, it'd be over a kilo, um, which is not a big amount because it's a fairly heavy bike, but it's something at least. Anyway, I'll keep you updated with uh, my progress on the bike. Cheers now, bye.